Hi guys, so if any of you watched my last two videos about Super M, you'll notice that I was a bit apprehensive about the group. However, I think my feelings have shifted a bit since the last time I talked about it. Today, I'm going to be breaking down my thoughts on Super M's debut. I'm going to do so by breaking this video down into three sections, the title track, the album, and the promotions. Let me know what you guys think about the debut as well. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did. I think the song got leaked on social media a few days ago, but I decided not to listen to it then because one, I wasn't sure if the version that was leaked was actually the final version, two, because I do feel like it is a different experience when you hear a song while watching the music video, and three, because I didn't really feel like it was right to listen to the song before they actually intended to release it. The song itself was actually like a bop. I really liked the music video as well. I think it did a great job of fitting the message and the vibe of the song. I think my biggest complaint about the song itself is the lyrics. I feel like if it had been slightly different, it would have been much better, but I just can't get behind the word jopping. That's a problem that I have whenever SM makes any song into an English version. The lyrics end up being pretty much generic at best, and cringy at worst. I do think that the song is well produced though. It has an almost cinematic feel to it, which I like. I think that's because of the horns that are going on, and the rap and the singing parts actually flow together pretty well. The beats and the melodies are well arranged, so I think that compensates for the lackluster lyrics. I think my biggest complaints about the music video was that it felt like Ten and Lucas were barely in it. I felt like they were barely in the song as well, so featuring them more heavily in the music video would have been an opportunity to compensate for that, but they didn't end up doing that. Besides that, I actually really liked all of the other parts of the music video. This was definitely my favorite song off the album. The instrumental version of this alone is really good. Baekhyun and Taemin's heavenly vocals are amazing in this song, and I really like Mark's rap as well. I like the instrument that they used for the chorus, followed by the drum beats. I'm definitely really excited to see what this song will look like with choreography. The vocals are definitely what makes Too Fast feel special, especially Baekhyun's. I'm glad that they let Mark sing. I think it's because he's always in charge of rapping that it's kind of rare to hear his actual singing voice. This was probably my second favorite song on the album, and I definitely got Shiny and EXO vibes from listening to it. I feel like the chorus of this song surprised me because it sounded like they were building it up to go somewhere completely different. The song definitely reflects the same type of theme that the title track had, but it was definitely better lyrically than Jopping. I'm pretty sure that they used this in some of the teasers. Don't know why they didn't include Mark's rap from his teaser on the track though. It should have been in the song and I think it would have gone well with it. This song stood out to me the most lyrically. If I'm not mistaken, I think Taeyong wrote it, but I didn't know that when I saw it for the first time. It's definitely more mellow than the other songs on the album, but it still has that same feeling of edge to it. Overall, I did like the mini album. It definitely felt well produced and all of the members did a great job in singing and rapping. The style felt a lot more like NCT's more than Shiny's or EXO's in general. If I'm being honest, I didn't like this album as much as I usually enjoy Shiny or EXO's releases, but I still did like listening to it. I just don't really see myself listening to it on repeat. I do feel like seeing videos of them performing the songs will make me like it more, because with all of these heavy beats and drops, it feels like music that's meant to be performed. I do wish Lucas had more lines though, because it felt like he was barely on the album. 
슈퍼앱 이거 앨범 많이 사랑해주세요 좋은 앨범 기대해주세요 So, SM and Capitol Records are really going all in for the promotions. I think watching the teasers is what made me more receptive to the idea of the group. They were all really well made, and I like the mysterious theme behind them. They just debuted, and they're already going on a whole tour across America, which I'm happy about, but it also seems really rushed, considering that they're barely giving fans any time to prepare for ticket sales. and for the actual tour dates itself. I just hope the members don't end up feeling overworked, especially Mark and Taeyong who also have to promote abroad for NCT 127. They're also set to go on Ellen soon, which I'm very interested to see, and I'm sure if that goes well, then they'll go on more talk shows and maybe go on late night. I feel like the promotional activities that are being conducted are pretty good so far, but they feel catered more towards people who are already K-pop fans rather than garnering interest from outsiders. The sound that they've chosen to go for on the album doesn't sound like anything in American pop music right now, and naming a song Jopping doesn't really help with that. Also, I wouldn't expect such a fast turnaround for a touring for a group that's just debuted, even for an American label. I feel like SM just doesn't really know how to promote their artists in America, but I guess time will tell whether their marketing plan is successful or not. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on their debut. One more thing I wanted to mention though, please do be respectful when you make comments about Super M. There's a difference between critiquing their work versus spewing hate at the members, and telling them to disband isn't going to stop their promotions, it's just going to adversely affect them personally. It's okay to not support them, but don't hate on them. Thank you so much for watching.